It was a UN Security Council meeting China tried to block president. moments before it even started. For only the second time, the Security Council is taking up human rights abuses in North Korea, but China, North Korea's strongest ally, said the meeting shouldn't take place. But the United States, which holds a presidency this Votes month, used procedural rules to call for a vote and push the meeting forward. Russia, Venezuela and Angola sided with China and voted to halt the meeting. But the U.S. The got the nine votes they needed the to ensure it took place. China is always opposed to the Security Council's intervention in issues concerning a country's human rights. The Security Council is not the place to address human rights. I would like to address those who believe that what is happening in the DPRK is not a threat to peace and security. I would like to ask whether those countries think that systematic torture, forced starvation, and crimes against humanity are stabilizing or good for international peace and security. I assume they don't think that. Ambassadors heard about what the UN says are continued widespread abuses, including forced labor, starvation, torture, and as many as 120,000 political prisoners. Two North Korean defectors were also at the UN on Thursday to put a human face and voice on the horrors they suffered. Grace Jo said things got so bad growing up, she had to eat boiled mice to survive. Her father and brother both died of hunger. The main reason why I'm here today is because I can't forget my brother's, my father's death, and my grandmother's death. My family's tragic. I couldn't forget them. And we're trying to rescue and um, give them, give other people, other families members, give them a hope. North Korea did not take part in the meeting, but previously has denied any human rights violations, saying that it's all part of a plot by the country's enemies to destabilize the country. But here at the UN, the majority of the Security Council members say meetings like the one held here on Thursday continue to bring to the forefront allegations of human rights abuses in North Korea to the international community, even if North Korea's top ally tries to prevent it. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.